All right, supposed to be live, I guess. Hopefully, hopefully it's working. Hello, all you schmucks out there. Special mega mystery stream. Details coming in a couple minutes. Gonna go post in the Discord that we're live. Hopefully I can be heard well. God, I hope so. Okay, let's get this posted up in the stream. Boom, there we go. Ignore this, unrelated. Don't even look at this yet. Get some Diet Mountain Lightning. Says that uh, my audio should be working and the video looks like it's doing okay, I guess. I don't know. Oh shoot, I accidentally closed out Chrome with the stream manager. That's great. All right, let's pop that back on open. Hopefully that didn't end the stream. We'll see, I've never had that happen before. Oh, it's not like opening up that. Next streaming software. Okay, are we back up? Was it even down? Who knows? We'll see. Nick's making a lot of noise upstairs, which is great. Uh. Boys, what's up? Hello, boys. Oh, that is a, uh, a big, long wait. I'll give it like uh, seven more minutes of awkward silence and then we'll hop into it, I suppose. I know, I got, I, got, I got a few things to talk about, but there's no one here to talk with, so it's kind of awkward to do so, I suppose. Uh, no, no. Just chilling. Got done with some Wizard of Oz editing. Mm, just... Eh. Doing nothing with the rest of my night. Cool. Oh, it says one concurrent viewer now. That's cool. Uh, sorry, concurrent viewer. Going to be five more minutes before we get into what we're doing tonight. Oh, waiting for the boys from Discord to show up first. You know what? Screw it. We'll just start explaining it now. I bought this Fender Frontman 212R off of Facebook for $125. I'm mostly happy with that purchase. It's almost brand new. Like, it's in crazy good condition. But it smells like cat piss. It smells like... 30 cats pissed all over this thing. It is permeated into it. So we're going to take it apart, spray it down. Uh, knobs have a horrible scratchiness when they're in use too, so we're going to hit them up with some contact cleaner, strip this sucker down, and go at it. <gasps> Simon! Hey, buddy! What you doing? Doing, Simon? He's being a good boy, that's what he's doing. Oh, he's not a good boy. Okay. 
He's, he's uh, confirmed that I'm alive and he's moving on. By the way, if uh, viewers at home want to listen in, uh, I'm listening to David Arkenstone's Valley in the Clouds while I'm taking care of this. So, uh, just go to YouTube, search David Arkenstone Valley in the Clouds album. First thing that comes up. Baby! Boy, everyone's coming on down, huh? What are you doing? Oh, my hands smell weird. Touch that, uh, bottle of Angry Orange Cleaner, and they're probably not happy about that. That's okay. Three more minutes. You know, I think this is over here. Oh, yeah, there it is. I'm like freaking Chuck E. Cheese in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, I don't like that. Whew. All right. Oh, we got a like. Nick, you here, boy? Wish I could like it. Man, I shouldn't have, should not have started the stream early. Should not have started the stream early, but that's okay. Two more minutes for people from Discord to trickle in, and then we're going to get down to stripping this baby down. That's the plan, by the way. I know I've said that like three times, but it's the plan. Just keeping it up for people rolling in. Let's hop on over to Discord and see if we got any updates. Nope. Turns out people are doing things at 9.04 on a Thursday. Who'd have thought? Hey, it's Dave. Dave's the like. Of course you are. I like Dave. Oh, Dave. Dave, have you ever seen uh, something funny happen on the way to the forum? I think that's the name of it. I watched that a couple months ago. It's really good. Some, something funny happened on the way to the forum, I think. Oh. Alright, 6.05. Stream has officially started. Welcome to the scoop. The scoop isn't happening today. I think it's because you started at a different time. It is, and uh, I kind of just gave people notice today. It's I didn't know if I was actually going to be able to get things around. But uh, this is this is what we're going to do today. First off, today we are listening to David Arkenstone's Valley in the Clouds. If you people would like to listen along, just go to YouTube, search David Arkenstone Valley in the Clouds album and pull it on up. Uh... You, I do usually start at 8, yes. We were editing uh, The Wizard of Oz until 8. 8's pretty much the time that Philip can stay till. Philip's my cousin who's doing the movie. So it's it's weird having to look up here. Um, so, you know, we had to start at 9. But here's the plan for tonight, all you Daves out there. I got a fantastic deal on this Fender Frontman 212 that I shouldn't be touching right now. Um pretty darn good working condition the knobs scratch when it's turned on when you use them 
So I'm going to hit those up. We're going to take the actual amp section out and hit it up with uh, some contact cleaner. And hopefully that should get that going nice and good. And I put it in my car. And holy shit, my entire car just smelled like cat piss while I was taking this amp home. It is like an entire, what do you, what do you call them, like a, a pride? An entire pride of cats took turns pissing on this thing, I guess. It's just, oh, it's so bad. So we've got uh, Angry Orange Enzyme Cleaner. We're going to be taking everything out and soaking it in. Um, I had a look at the back of the speakers. I haven't taken them out and looking at the front yet, but it looks like the cones are still decent. So they might have been like like spraying instead of pissing on it, and it didn't get through the grill cloth. Happy with that, but the grill cloth, holy shit. Oh my god, it's ammonia city there. So... We're going to give it a wipe down, we're going to take it apart, we're going to spray it down with the orange cleaner, we're going to hit up those uh, pots with the contact cleaner. And this is a like decade old design, why am I touching it, decade old design, so I couldn't find a lot of information on taking it apart, so we're just kind of flying blind there. Just going to be taking a lot of pictures as we go and hope we can get it back together afterwards. So, where to put my duct tape. It was literally right here. Why? There it is. Cool. All right. Let's get to it, boys. Just going to do this. And we'll start with the top screws, I think. Would be a good place to hit it up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so... Before we start taking it apart, I want to show you something. I'll really just show you the worst spot real quick. I'm going to rotate this. Oh, that's a big boy. Get a load of this. Look at that. Ew. There's just kind of all, all along up top, definitely. And on the insides, there's some on the insides. Unfortunately, it kind of looks like it leaks down from here. But that might be like glue or something. It's uh, just kind of kind of bits and pieces all over. Not looking good. So we're going to give that a quick wipe down. Also going to move this up a little bit. I mean, you came here for schmuckers, right? Let's give you schmuckers. I'll give this sucker a wipe down. I got some soapy water. Figure that's a good place to start. Let's get that big chunk off first. Whoa. Someone's coming off the table a little bit. The uh, little metal brackets on the corners are uh, kind of a little pitted, but that's what you kind of expect with Chinese metal if you don't keep it in like the perfect little climate, you know? Which is apparently... <laughs> Southeast Asia. So, I'm just going to hit that up with that light again real quick. Where's my light? Yeah, still there, huh? Oh, wow, there is something gunky on the top here. Oh, so how you doing, Dave? Any big adventures since the last stream? Also, uh, I saw your big list of Halloween movies you got in, or horror movies you got in for Halloween. You got anything planned for Christmas? I'm 
to try hitting this up on the inside where it yeah I think that's that's just like some sort of glue that's showing up okay whoo that is stinky in there get him rotatoed hate Christmas ah What's it, uh, what's it actually called? Saturnalia or something then? Go pagan with it? Man, I wish you could see this in person. It is like, like new. It's crazy. Like what I even thought was, uh, like damage to the Tolex was actually just some gunk crusted to it that's coming off. You don't celebrate anything at all? here too. It's a little dusty. Oh, got a little bit of loose uh, fabric there. That's okay. Tried to sniff the flashlight instead of the rag. That's real smart. I'm not going to worry about up under there. That's looking pretty good. Alright. I'm going to tip it on the face here and get the bottom too. So, uh, I think from what I've read before, since these speakers are bolted in, the best way to do this is probably to tip it forward instead of backward. So we're going to do that. Even if it sits on the knobs, I think it'll be fine for just a few seconds. Oh, ho oh, oh. ho! Got a split seam on the bottom. Not sure you can hang around too long tonight. You're expecting a phone call. I got you, man. Thanks for dropping by at all. Good to have you. Like I said, it's an impromptu thing, so this is just something I kind of wanted to get done anyway. You know, actually, uh, we had two options for this stream, and Joe from work chose the amp repair. It was this or tarot card readings. Oh my goodness, even this part that I thought was a bad scuff is just some paint on it or something. Nice. That's coming off. Oh no, this isn't my Phillips. You'll be here for a bit though? Alright, man. I'm uh, excited to try those, uh, what are they called? Uh, White Castle Bites on Monday. Should be doing the scoop this week. Uh, I've managed to hold off on them. Oh my goodness. I thought these feet were just kind of like rusted and pitted, but it looks like that's mostly stuff on the surface too. Hot damn. This is just looking better and better, boys. Cool. Alright, now we're going to start taking it apart. Where's Joe? Uh, Joe is working right now. You know, if you wanted a, if you want his full schedule, I'll get it to you. 
but Joe works on Thursdays. He uh, tunes into the scoop on Mondays. All right, so like I said, I think we're going to get those top bolts first. And I think these side bolts also hold in the amp. So let's get on that. And hopefully these just, oh, they do come nice and loose. All right, pro tip, boys, for keeping your screws straight, a little bit of duct tape. Stick screws on them. Won't go anywhere. I know there's a, a lot of people have little bins for them and stuff. I don't have that. You gonna pop off later, boy? No, no, that little, little grommet's in place pretty good. If that's the word for that, I think it is. I'm, uh, I don't know how much it actually matters, but I'm kind of like of the school of making sure every screw goes back exactly the hole it came from. I'm going to kind of organize them that way. It, uh, that feels really loose in there. I think that screw is still holding it in there, so I'm not too worried about it falling through. But it looks like it's just these top screws and that side screw that are holding this in here. And uh, I looked into the safety of this. It looks like it's pretty much just watching out to not touch the capacitors in here, and we shouldn't get shocked too bad. I watched some guys uh, kind of manhandling these things, spraying those pots out, so it should be pretty okay. Shoot. Well, that's that now. I am going to turn this, because I'm going to have to put it face down in a minute anyway. Uh-oh. Don't like that. Hold on one sec, boys. I'm getting Facebook messages. I'm going to check what's up. There goes Nick stomping around up there. Oof. What's up, guy? Yeah. It's okay. What? What's up? What's up? It's just Dave. You can say anything in front of Dave. I saw something about Discord and a J word. Alright, so I'm going to work on removing the speakers real quick. I'm going to tip this forward. I'll give you guys a view. Oh, what the heck was that? Sound like a little screw went skittering somewhere or something. Okay. Check this out, boys. Okay. One sec. Also, please excuse the mess around me. We had like two rooms packed up in here while we were doing the remodeling and moving stuff around. So, what we've got going on here is the amp head here. We're going to be removing that, and these are actually 
soldered up into here. Like you can unplug these from this one, but this one's like flat out soldered to it. So this is going to have to come out with it. And then down here is the, I think that's the reverb tank. We should be able to just leave that. And honestly, if that gets damaged or something, I don't care. I'm using a multi-effects pedal. So this is just to have a couple powerful speakers around. So let's get on unscrewing. We'll unscrew those speakers. And then we'll uh, unscrew those side screws and take the amp out with them. So let's get these suckers. Ah, oh, whoa. Man, I get cut on everything. It don't matter what it is. Why am I... I, I shouldn't even bother to unplug this. That, should, that would not even make a difference. So we'll just leave that one plugged in. We should be able to get this speaker out nice and easy. Should just be a few screws. Doesn't even look like the angles are going to be too weird. I don't even think we're going to need any pictures on this. Nice and simple. Oh, whoa. That is magnetic. Oh yeah, one one sec. Hey Ma, are you up there? Yeah. There is an, a tiny chance I could shock myself to death. So you know, you might want to check up on me every now and then, maybe if I stop talking. Okay. Thank you. It's only if I'm stupid enough to touch the capacitors. So we'll just kind of, from the bottom left, counterclockwise, remove these suckers and put them all in a line. That should be easy enough to remember. And I'm hoping that, because uh, it looks like the way this thing's actually set up, that... uh. One sec. Yeah, I don't think that, no, this thing's not even rusted on the knobs. Cool. Unfortunately, like every Fender amp, you'll call 911 if I die. Cool. Thank you very much, Dave. Um, it seems like every Fender amp besides this one either has the grill cloth attached with Velcro. Or that, uh, man, I'm going to end up stripping this sucker. Or that uh, the front with the grill cloth just comes off with the speakers. But uh, not this thing. It looks like uh, it's like glued in place with like four wooden blocks. And I don't think we're going to be getting that off. So I'm just trying to take the speakers off. By the way, this one screw is being a dick. So that, uh, oh, I think, anyway, uh, I was saying something. I was saying something. Uh, We were. Oh, yeah. Like, with these removed, we should be able to spray it from the back side and not worry about spraying the speakers. Because I don't want these suckers getting wet at all. There we go. Honestly, I think we just kind of like stripped the wood out around this screw rather than unscrewing it. But that's okay as long as it comes out. But uh, we're just going to kind of 
aim to spray this thing down with that enzyme cleaner and let it soak because apparently you got to let it sit and that's how it does its work yeah I think we're gonna have to end up just ripping this dude out of here which is okay it's 125 bucks <laughs> Ah, oh, there we go. This guy's playing nice. Literally no effort. My man. Let's, uh... Give this sucker a lift while we're unscrewing it. See if that makes a difference. Be progress? Come on, lad. I think I'm just kind of like, the pressure I'm putting on the screw is just sinking it back in. back up with where it was I guess I don't know oh it's like it's sitting pretty loose in there ourselves in the hand with the flathead a little bit. Hmm? I mean, I'm fine with just prying the sucker out of here, but I can't get that screwdriver under there.
mean, I just kind of just kind of keep going back to being like, hmm, maybe now it'll just work if I do the exact same thing I've been doing. Hmm? It's moving all around in there. It just didn't want to come. Wow, spit out. Can't tell if we've made any progress at all. Just in there. Okay, I gotta mute Facebook notifications. That's just getting annoying now. Cool. I don't know. I don't. I don't even know where I'd find a pair of frickin' pliers. I don't know why I would think that a different screwdriver would help. But I'm gonna do that. That was not the ticket. But that's okay. What if we tried tab on this. I don't know, it's just like nothing much to lever it against. Maybe the other direction. Try hooking this saucy bastard underneath there and manually lifting it. Dad? Sup? On Thank you. Is mom making sure I didn't fry myself? I only a major chance. Of stabbing ourselves now. Any change? Absolutely no fucking change. <sighs> I 
Oh, I'm just going to Google strip screw won't pull out of hole. Or screw won't pull out of stripped hole. No, this is the screw isn't stripped. Oh, duh, one sec. Let me see if, uh, be right back. Bringing in the big guns, boys. I don't know why this would ever make a difference, but worst case scenario, we might be able to strip it out the rest of the way if the drill will reach, which would be very nice of the speaker. Oh yeah, he grabbed. Did it? Did it actually take? Yeah, he's just kind of a, kind of a free floating in there, huh? That's okay. Yep, that's uh, it's just stuck in there part way and it's not having it at all. <laughs> okay. Just pull out, you bastard. I think we got it a little further out, maybe. And I don't think I'm just coping. I think we actually did get it a little bit further. Kind of scraping that up in there now. Yeah, we're getting it. One more moment, please. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, boys. Got him. Please, Lord. Let me just... Pull this sucker on out of here. Nope. He 
you said no. What is it even stuck on? That is no. Jeez. That's cool. Let's uh, let's bend it as many angles as we can and hit it up with the power drill. Which might just be the one angle because that might be the only way to fit the power drill in there. Oh my goodness. That's pretty damn loose in there, boys. I don't think it's any more loose than it was, though. That's okay. Let me grab a screw, please. All I have ever wanted since I was a child was to grab a screw. Boys. Boys, I'm not having fun. Thought this was gonna be a easy, fun-filled romp of an evening, but it ain't appearing to be so. Okay, that's the problem with that. All right. Woo. Just a moment. Screw loose, but stuck in hole. How do I remove a strip screw? What do you know? Apply lubricant. Spray the screw head with rust penetrant. Oh yeah, getting a hammer in there would be pretty hype. Paint. Power drill. Jesus. All right. The answer is nothing. Nobody is coming to help. <laughs> I think it's about to switch, uh, time to switch David Arkenstone off or something, uh, a little heavier. Oh, hey, it's Chris. Chris, what's up, man? Oh, we're having a hard go of it. We're uh, trying to take this amp apart and spray it down with enzyme cleaner because it smells like cat piss and also hit up the, uh, the, uh, what is that called? The pots with, uh, some contact cleaner because they're a little scratchy but it ain't having it there's a screw down in here that's loose as fuck like I can move this all around but that screw ain't coming out it's like uh, like the hole stripped but it's stuck in there still 
I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to hit that up with the screwdriver again and see what happens. It turns completely freely. I'm just kind of going back around in circles, prying and pulling and drilling, and it's not having any of it. It says, no, I don't want that. You get out of here with that. I guess, I guess we can try like drilling it and pressing it in as hard as we can and see if that like loosens her up a bit, I guess. I don't know. Let's line you back up the way you're supposed to be. Which is about right there, I believe. No. Whoa. I'm putting you on the... No, you go right there. to stop being a jerk. Huh? Yeah? So loose. It's just a shame. The, the best grip I can get on it is my damn fingernails. front of this thing. Not really. Not really at all. So that would be right right in this wooden block right here. Not that that helps us like at all. Oh my god. Whew. Let's, let's remove the amp first. I didn't want to do that, but we might be able to push it to the side a little bit. Let's remove the actual amp. I think it should just be these last screws on the side should get it out. Why am I doing that? 
We already broke out the power tools. Let's, uh, let's unplug the reverb tank. Hop back on over here. Oh, whoa, that ain't good. I should have un I should have removed the left speaker first. I am not a clever man. Oh, hey, Static's here. Hey, Static. So I bought a guitar amp off of Facebook, and the knobs are a little bit scratchy when you turn them. So I am removing the amp itself to go ahead and spray those pots out with contact cleaner and hope that that fixes the problem. But also, uh, this thing just reeks of cat piss. I didn't realize it till I put it in my car and I'm driving home like, what is that smell? Is that ammonia? Yep. Like 30 cats must have taken turns over and over again pissing on this thing. It is a little bit rough. Oh no. Ugh. This thing better just pull right out or I'm gonna be pissed. It looks like there's some fabric from the grill attached to it, maybe? Not a fan of that. Anyway, this thing's turning into a project. It, uh, I got a screw that's stuck in here. And it's like, like the hole is stripped, but it's still stuck. And I'm looking up how to remove that online, and it's like, nah, bro, you, uh, your screw's stripped. And I'm like, no, the screw's not stripped. And they're like, nah, only solutions for stripped stri strip screws, man. Oh. I got here super late, and you started without me. Rude. It's true. Um, you know, there's no brakes on this train. We start and we don't stop. And, uh, that's that's worked for me for a good long time. So I'm just going to kind of stick with that. You know what they say, never improvise, never adapt, overcome. All right, one more screw on the side here. That's just for the cable to the reverb tank. It's got a little plastic clamp on it. So we're gonna try and rip this thing apart and soak everything in uh, 
enzyme cleaner that should uh, break the cat piss proteins down. All right, cross them fingies, boys. Oh, sweet Jesus, we're not ripping the cloth out. Big fan of that. Hmm. Looks like we're just kind of wedging a little bit, pulling this out. Please, for the love of God, we got a couple rooms unpacked down here in the basement, so I apologize for the mess, but uh, it's also uh, making it not too easy to get around down here. All right. So this was like in here, in here. There's a couple of folded metal pieces on the side that are wedging as I'm pulling it out of the cabinet. Oh my god, nothing can just be fucking easy, can it? Okay, there's the capacitors. They're gonna fucking kill me if I touch them. That's good to know. This was in here like this. That's cool. Now, how did they get this fucking in here in the factory? I guess kind of like this. And I can't pull it too far because it's connected to this cable to the left speaker and that's like soldered in. And we were like hard wedging on the right side and now on the left. We could try lifting this out at an angle, pressing this down over here. Aha! Physics! Oh, wow. Everything looks pretty nice and clean in there. there's that. Let's lift these on out of here and put them Uh-oh. What the fuck was that? Oh, it's cool. It's just some sort of a uh... There's another one loose there. That's okay. It's probably, uh, they're probably just up here underneath the screws would be my guess, as it looks like, uh, this fits up un underneath there. Yep. Boy, if that's what those screws tap into, that's going to be fun getting back together. I'll probably just tape them on up in there. All right, what do we got here? Crossed? What's crossed? Maximum effort? Yeah, boy. It, uh, it's all pretty nice in there, actually. Um... It looks like this grill cloth is definitely not attached to this, which is good because we might be able to get that off of there. I'm hoping it's Velcroed on because let's get heart to heart going for a minute. I'm hoping that uh, 
it's just Velcroed on because I read that some models do that. So if that is the case, I would be so happy. But here's my problem that I'm having. Let's get right down on in there. This screw is an absolute bastard. It does not want to come out at all. At all. And I mean like I got it out a little bit but now it's just playing around in there. And uh, I tried pulling it with pliers and prying it out with a screwdriver and it ain't coming. So let's get a look at if we can get this grill off and then we might be able to see the screw from the other side possibly. By the way, that other speaker looks like it's got a little bit of mildew on it or something, but other than that, it looks great. Ugh. Gonna have a look at this grill real quick. We'll just kind of pry at that, see what happens. No, definitely not Velcro. Actually, that kind of sounds like Velcro. It don't look like it though. But I'm that kind of guy. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna pop back here and have a look at it from the back side. In fact, I'm gonna use my camera on my phone to have a look up in there. I know you, there's a thing where you can like always have the light on. Ugh. Yeah, boy. That's what I want. Mightn't that be Velcro, hmm? Let's have a look. I can't tell. It kind of looks like it. I know where to look now, so we'll give that another go. Looks like Velcro to me, boys. Let's check the bottom, too. Oh yeah, that's Velcro. That's Velcro for sure. Ooh, finally one good thing. Stop pulling if you hear breaking noises. Well, that's the thing. Velcro is only breaking noises. It's the worst. There's like no, no definition in the Velcro. It's either breaking or not breaking. You know what I mean? Oh man, I'm running. I'm running out of places to put things. I got my whole, uh, I got the streaming setup and the 3D printing setup over here. So we got like no room to put anything over there and I don't want to put anything on the 3D print bed. Which by the way, boys, I had uh, one of my 3D prints uh, slip on the printing surface and it started like shooting like plastic up into the extruding like housing and it's the worst i gotta hit it up with a wire brush and try and get it all off there 
haha, ha, true. It, it, it is true. Uh, I found this board game, and I found a 3D printable model for it, so I, I printed that out, and Nick and I are going to play it. It's like a 4,500-year-old 4, board game from Mesopotamia, and it's hype as shit. It's kind of like a... Uh, like sorry mixed with backgammon is so good really really simple to play too like we picked up the rules like that we haven't played it yet let me be clear but <sighs> boys i'm feeling a little sabbath tonight let's pop uh paranoid on Oh boys, I listened to I listened to the first Ramones album the other day, and it was just it was just god awful. Don't listen to uh, the self titled Ramones album. Whoo! Confirmed Velcro. Jumanji. No, it's it's not Jumanji. It's called uh, the Royal Game of Ur because they found uh, like the best preserved, fanciest one in the Royal Cemetery of Ur. And uh, not only not only did they find the game, they found also like a 4,500 year old, and I'm probably going to butcher the way you say this, but cuneiform tablet of rules so not only do we find the oldest board game we found the oldest rule book too oh dude this is gonna be so nice so because we can really spray every inch of this thing now oh need a little dusty Okay, so we cannot see where that screw is coming from from this side, which kind of sucks. Unless, oh, this is totally, that's why it's stuck. This little, uh, this little piece here must be just spinning around in here, which is cool because we could totally glue this in later and make this completely stable again. Whew, that is dusty. Oh no. Uh oh. One sec. There it is. It's down there. Okay. I was worried I was going to be like, uh oh, it's not the grill that smells like cat piss. That means the wood itself is permeated. Look at that. Cone's still. I don't know if you can see it actually. Cone's still in great, great shape. I was worried about that being soaked through with cat piss. Cool. Oh, this is just trash. Cool. Get some of this. What I'm assuming is just garage dust out of here. It's okay. Uh, we're doing the floors above, above this basement. So, uh, like there's there's just garbage all over the floor from random wood shavings and shit so you know honestly like i don't know if it's because i've been working with it but like i'm not getting much cat piss out of this thing anymore which is really weird I'm going to back this up because we're done with uh, getting all the little screws and shit out. Let's uh, get a big overarching shot of what's... Oh, nope. That's the microphone. What we got going on here? There we go. Hello, it's me. Am I even in shot for that? A little bit. We'll, uh, we'll pull this up a little bit. So, uh, I said this earlier, I don't know who was, 
all here for it, but, uh, oh, geez. Just, uh, thankfully the, like, lid was on. I just dropped all this fucking, this directly on my laptop. Um, Nick says, night, bro. All right, night, man. You heading to bed? Nick's not feeling too good tonight. But, uh, what was I saying? What was I even fucking saying? Oh, yeah. We had two options for tonight's stream. It was going to be either the uh, amp maintenance or we were... Uh... Oh, Mielko? Fire Red 220 says Mario? Yeah, Mario. Mario to you too, Chris. Uh, we were going to either do the amp repair or we... Uh... Well, it's really more maintenance than repair. Or we were going to do tarot readings. And thank God Joe chose the amp because I probably could not have learned how to read tarot overnight. It wouldn't have been great. But I wanted to do something a little bit different, you know? <sighs> Alright, so I'm just going to wipe this down with the soap and water. Then we'll start hitting it up with the... Uh... Oh, let's get that other speaker out of there. That couldn't hurt, huh? So, what's the best way to do this? Probably just... Wedging the flat head in here so this can't turn. And then. Oh, but this isn't this isn't too smart either, because the speaker could drop. But I'm not I'm not too worried about that. Okay. Woo! Okay. We have ourselves a situation, boys. What are you making? I Unfortunately, I'm not making, but I am taking apart this uh, Fender amp. Because, uh, number one, cats clearly peed all over it. Not all over it, but they, it definitely definitely has a bit of a cat pee smell to it. Second off, uh, the knobs are scratchy when I turn them, so I'm going to be spraying some contact cleaner into the pots on the back of them. Should make it go nice and smooth when you turn it. How you doing tonight, by the way, man? I guess I'll just use my thumb and hope I don't get tore up. Which way is... Yep. No, that's not happening. That is, like, stuck. <sighs> Let me see if I got, like, a thick rubber glove around here somewhere. I got all of the kitchen down here so there probably is somewhere settle for some thick fabric see about this whatever I got going on here I'll put on this glove backwards because it's a left-handed glove and we'll see about giving it a go I still want to get uh, a barb in my finger, you know? Wow. I don't know, it's just like... I think we can push it in or we can push it out. But... I really wanted to get this speaker out before I start spraying that cleaner everywhere. Let's see about pushing that back through. And you know, there's not enough room to grab it, or I mean, maybe if we grab two bits of it right here, we could try and hold it in place. That might do it. Oh, shoot. Fine, I just saw Mega Mystery Stream and intrigued me to click on the video. That was the plan, actually. I'm like, oh, what if I actually just made a black screen with a question mark? Would people actually click on that? Because I know I'm an adventurous man. I would take that click. Put tape on your finger and hold the spinny part while you remove. That's what I figured. You know what? Static, I'm going to run with that. 
We'll put we'll put sticky part down. Maybe, just maybe. Where did I put the duct tape now? All right. Nice. Well, uh, Fire Red, it's nice to have you. By the way, is that a Pokemon reference? Also, quick question. Do you like food? Answer honestly. All right, let's, let's see, man. The problem is, like, you can't see what's going on under there. Oh, it's kind of. No, I think the, I think the screw's just so darn stuck in there. I don't think we're going to be getting that out of there. I can try retightening it and see if that makes a bit of a difference, but... No. Man, that is some... some sticky stuff. No, nah, I think that's just shot. I don't think that's going anywhere. Yeah, you do like food? Cool. What we normally do here, instead of this, this is a makeup stream because I missed the actual stream because I'm actually helping a local special needs center shoot a movie of, like, The Wizard of Oz, is uh, we do food news and reviews and deals and stuff. So uh, on Mondays and Thursdays normally... We do like a one to two hour show going over like the craziest things like Burger King made like a like a ghost pepper Whopper recently and uh, about how Taco Bell was giving out free Doritos Locos Tacos if somebody stole a base in the World Series and stuff. Don't know if you're interested in that, but that's what we normally do here. So I think I think I think what I'm going to do here is just put some transfer tape over this to cover it up and make sure it doesn't get damaged. And this will at least hold as a bit of an anchor once it's all back together. That's just going to have to be how it is. So let's wipe this down with soap and water. Then we'll hit it up with the enzyme cleaner and we'll let that sit. And we'll get moving on cleaning those pots out. One sec, I want to get the uh, UV light out and see if any of this is too bad. Oh my, oh my, oh my goodness. Is it under the amp? Did I put it underneath the amp? No, it's right here. Okay, one sec. Lights out, boys. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. I figured it's pretty cool. Let's, uh, get this angled down here a little bit make sure we're all lined up cool ah oh, look right there is that coming through there's a uh, lots of green right here I don't know if that's coming through at all that is probably the glue they used on it yeah, there's a whole strip along the bottom. But this right here, probably not. That looks like it's probably from spray through the grill cloth. That is more glue. Alright, so this might be part of our culprit right here. Let's hit that up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yep. So that's going to be a key place to hit up with that cleaner. <laughs> Poor 
always when uh when we upload the, the final video, I think we're gonna be uh I think we're gonna be cutting out the like hour of trying to get that screw out. Can't see it? Oh, I'm sorry. It's uh I already wiped it off or I'd show you again. But I can I can show you where the uh glue line is it looks pretty much exactly like the piss stream was sexier with the light off okay we'll see we'll see let's let's get you guys a good view of this and then we'll oh yeah motion sickness alert is that uh coming through at all Compared to, okay, so let's see if that's, no, that came off. There's a good, it's uh, on the side of that Velcro, you can see there's some light spots and that's totally the, the glue. Ugh. Yeah, it's 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 not coming through as green on the stream. Maybe it just uh like the camera doesn't like picking up that like UV level or something. Oh, it came through now. Sweet. It's uh I mean it it is like vibrant green on my end. That uh that light is from, if you guys don't know, my uh, parents actually ghost hunt. So we got all sorts of crazy, like, uh, UV motion detecting, electromagnetic sensing bullshit around the house. Yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty gross. Uh, we're getting it off, though. That's what matters. So I'm going to give this a quick wipe. I'm going to go on the inside, give it a quick wipe. Oh, no, I'm dampening the speaker cone that I said I was having a problem with. That's right. Let's hit that up with tape real quick. I'm going to use this uh, low-tack transfer tape we use for making vinyl decals. And just kind of stretch that over the surface. It's a... Uh, There's like hardly any stickiness to it. It should cover it pretty safe. Wish I had scissors. <laughs> Just pretend it's, yep, that's me, colorblind schmuck. Yeah, they, they do really ghost hunt. Yeah, for sure. They go uh, every every few months to something. Yep. Sorry, man, I, I know it hurts to find out, but now that you know, you can start uh, living life to its mostly colorful fullness. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to spray these speakers down, but especially sad because it, it's a little, it's a little bit cat pissy. Let's, uh, that's cool. If just one part of it still smells like cat piss, it's okay. Just as long as all of it doesn't. Okay, come on. Play nice. Right, this is a big long piece, so I want this in the center. Starting to wish I just had some tissue paper or something. Please be nice.
the Ghost Hunter Show did an episode in my little city. Angels of Death, Season 11, Episode 8. One second, let me take a note on that. And I'll look that up. Yeah, I, uh, I actually bought that 3D printer to print cases for... I'm, I'm going to try selling a piece of ghost hunting equipment, actually. Uh, I'm going to take these, like, like electromagnetic sensor uh, boards I found online that you can buy. And uh, they kind of, like, when they sense an electromagnetic single, signal, they, like, beep and light up a light, like, one of three lights to show, like, how strong the signal is. And... Uh, Gonna buy a bunch of those boards at a discount price and solder them all up, put them together, and print some custom cases for them and try selling them online. Because, uh, there's, there's just not a lot of budget ghost hunting equipment. So I figure, like, I don't have to make a great product. I just gotta make something that works and undercut the competition by, like, a whole three quarters of their normal price, you know? So that's the current plan. If uh, you guys didn't know, I shut down my sticker business a while ago. Uh, between eBay's algorithm and USPS losing like literally a third of my orders by the end, I was just done with it. I was losing money. Seriously though, oof, USPS, oof. Well, the way I was sending them was through the post because I could fit, uh, like, stickers in an actual envelope and send them for 50, what are stamps, like 55 cents, 58 cents each. So I can't sell, like, a $4 sticker and pay, like, $4 to ship it through FedEx or USPS or UPS. And uh, Amazon... You actually have to, like, buy actual barcodes and register them to your products. So, like, they're, they're really not trying to help, like, small producers at all. Because I was making the stickers to order. I mean, it, it just is what it is. It was all about moving, like, large amounts of small ticket items. So I couldn't I couldn't ship with uh, tracking or anything. So they'd just be like, "Lol, lost your letter again." I uh I have another idea too. Is uh, like people use like the recorders for the EVP stuff, being like. Um, well, no, no, it's, it's not the, it's not the EVP one. It's the one that goes like, like, and picks up like radio frequencies and people were like, oh, well, I heard these different words from these like three different radio stations and it made a sentence. I guess the ghost is speaking to me. And I'm like, my mom thought that sh the one they had like played it in reverse as like a foolproof thing. Like it was playing like the audio that it was picking up in reverse too. And I'm like, well, why not just use a simple... I don't even know how I'd do it, but I'm like, oh, we'll just add another circuit on there that, like, pre-records the thing, like, one second in advance and plays it backwards or something. I'm sure there's tons of, like, cheap guitar equipment that does that, and I'm like, well, I could do that. So I'm thinking of something like that, too. 
They probably stole your beautiful and unique stickers. It's true. It's true. Those USPS guys just can't keep their hands off of my uh, born. It was a uh, born to shit forced to wipe was my number one seller. They just can't keep their hands off my born to shit forced to wipe stickers. All right. Just going to hit up the inside real quick. There's just a, a bunch of random ass dust and crumbs and shit in here. Nothing too terrible. I shined the light in before. You think if a cat was to piss on an amp, they would climb in the amp and do it there. But they didn't. So bless them, I guess. That's that. I'm just going to start giving it a light misting. Actually, like, I've been thinking about doing the streaming of a, a, a ghost hunt. See, I want to go along with them and stream their thing and then do my side thing. I had, a like, an idea called, like, Hocus Pocus or something where I go to all the haunted places that they do and I just go and have a good time and, like, get a good night's sleep, go to bed early, wake up, read a good book, you know? And, uh, then we had, a uh, an idea for a show called, uh, Ghost Haunters, or alternatively, Ghost Fuckers, where you go and you haunt the ghosts. You know, like the psychological warfare style thing where you just play like, uh, like the same, like, I don't know who's annoying, like Gwen Stefani album for like 48 hours on a loop or go in there and eat a nice meal with your mouth completely open the whole time. And I don't know, just this other shit ghosts don't like. Oh. This don't like, uh, I was hoping for a wider spray on that. What if we, oh, there we go, guy. I hope this is safe for, uh, Tolex. So the goal of this stuff is to leave it on. And, uh, you know, it's, it's enzymes. It'll just, like, slowly eat away at the proteins. I'm, uh, I'm not, like, a cat piss scientist, so don't quote me on that. But, uh, yeah, I've, I've thought about t-shirts. It's just, like, rather than make my own t-shirts, I'd rather just upload all my sticker designs to, like, red bubble or something and just take a smaller cut and let them deal with it i'm just too lazy <laughs> like I, I don't think it would be worth the effort really is what i'm saying now uh, I'm, I'm good with spreading this thin because mom made this up a while back because we had a cat that peed on her carpet and uh Man, it's there's like it's like quadruple strength what it's supposed to be. So if it's thinned out a little bit by being spread a little thin, I think that's perfectly fine. I don't think uh, it's gonna be a problem with that. In fact, I'm just gonna kind of start spraying that right on the. Uh, oh, it smells so good. It smells like orange fruit snacks. I don't like uh, spreading too well on exposed wood though. Oh, 
that is like soaking on in there, huh? I don't, I don't know what I expected. I mean, like, worst case scenario, even if this stuff doesn't work, which it's got rave reviews, so I don't know why it wouldn't. It, uh, it's gonna smell like oranges afterwards. I'm not gonna worry about hitting up where the, uh, actual amp head was enclosed. Because I don't think the cats got up in there. Alright. I am going to be a little careful around the reverb tank, though. And we'll uh, soak the grill cloth down a little bit, too. Catfish scientist schmuckers here. Today we're cleaning an amp. It's true. That's just facts, boys. By the way, I think we're going to take a... Oh, I didn't wipe the front down. I think we're going to take a moment to show here. If you're enjoying the stream, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. Shows YouTube that uh, you like it. <laughs> and second off, don't forget to subscribe if you're not currently subscribed to keep up on the latest and greatest in food news and deals. And also maybe some uh, guitar repair stuff. I know uh, I bought a Strat about a year ago. A Fender Stratocaster. And I have just not had the time to put a new nut on it. I got it. I got it partially sanded. Just haven't finished it up yet. So that's going to be happening here pretty soon if you guys want to see that streamed. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and get this sucker off of here and... Whee! That's orange. I don't smell a single bit of cat pee right now. Once you get this amp back together, you better stream us a song. We'll get a song in there. I promise. I'll talk to Nick, see if he wants to play some bass along with it. There it is. All right. I guess uh, I'll just soak the mat in it and we'll wipe it up after, I guess. I don't know. I do want to get this kind of like... Oh. This thing... Uh, just don't do spray. It only does like jet... Don't know what it's going to do to the plastic on that amp logo. Probably avoid that a little bit. Don't know what it's going to do to my hand, actually, to come to think of it. If it uh, ends up dying the cloth a little bit, because it is pretty orange, then hey, it's a vintage amp now, right? Oh yeah, by the way, by the way, uh, we will not be turning the amp on tonight. I want to I want to let it sit and dry a good long while. The electronics part, you know, once we get to that. Whew. That is a dusty boy. Oh yeah, that's nice and coated. I'm pretty sure it's like 
100% plastic and not actually fabric at all, so it shouldn't like stain stain. Yeah, no, 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 I got, I got you. I figured. I just wanted to clarify for everyone just in case. I know you're all clever lads. Mensa cat piss scientists here. All right. I am just going to go. I'm going to wipe this up, and then I'm going to go get a clean tub of water real quick. Boys, like, if they would just, like, give you a bottle of something orange drinkable alongside, I'd be really happy. One sec. Dad is back, boys. Uh, all right, so this quick wipe down, all that amp on over here. We're going to hit up the pots with contact cleaner. Yeah, have fun getting that back end of the cabinet. grab a towel to dry this off real quick. Okay. Uh. Static says he needs to take off. Thanks for the entertainment. Good luck getting it finished up. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Rock on. Ugh. Boys, my uh, 
hands are prematurely drying out before winter. I'm getting cracked skin and peeling and it's not fun. Alright, let's haul this back over. Fortunately, I'm going to have to do this with the speaker connected because I'm not going to re-solder it. So we'll just kind of pop it down at an angle. <laughs> Good sign off static. Give me a sec. I want to hit this up with the uh, UV and see if that... Ah, uh, shit. That might be cat piss on that speaker. But I can't... Can't wet it. So... It's just going to have to be what it is. It's just a few drops. It'll be fine. All right. Let's go ahead and bring this back on down. For some close-ups on... Hitting them pots up. So, what we want to do is hit each one of these up on the hole on the side with the contact cleaner. And hopefully that will clean the contacts. <laughs> Nice. Oh, that is definitely where these go. Those little nuts are still in here up here on these. Ooh, there's like a mosquito dead in here. Nice. So we should be able to just spray that in there and turn the pot. And... Now you might hear the knobs scratching themselves as I'm turning them. That's not what we're trying to fix. That's just the them being scratchy. And as far as I know, the jacks are still pretty decent in there. So let's pull these out so we don't lose them. Put those on the tape with the screws and crap. Cool. Now, I don't know how much this actually takes. I've never actually done this. So we're just gonna, we're gonna be liberal with them. The can feels like it's got a lot of liquid in it. So, should be fine. Won't that just pop on in there? Isn't that the plan? Oh no. There we go. Uh, boys, what am I listening to next? What's the plan? Any suggestions? Hmm. I'm just going to search album and see what pops up. Surprisingly, all very clean. Ha! Uh, rumors, first thing, frig off. Ooh, Joji. Ooh. Yeah, sure. We'll go Super Tramp. Breakfast in America, boys. Alright. Now this, let, let me read these instructions real quick. Things in the electronic components and content.
All right, cool. Doesn't say to shake it or anything. Hopefully it works sideways because we might need to use it sideways. In fact, let's just kind of... Yeah, it do. Cool. All right, so we're just going to get it down into the holes on the side of these pots. Give it a good spray and turn the knob. Oh. Tell you what, I'm going to do the standing up. Also, these two boys right here, I guess, are what are supposed to kill me if I touch them. So I'm not touching those. I'm going to avoid anything that looks like a capacitor at all, really. But those especially. That's why I'm, I'm standing and hovering over them like a genius. I'm going to two-hand this, too. Ooh, that is a that is stiff, man. My hands are slippery from that uh, lotion I put on. Oh wow! Is. I know I said it wasn't part of it, but that is turning so smooth now. Kind of. Like I said, I think the knob's kind of scratching on it a little bit. Oh, cool. No, that's part of it. I guess they make these that... Uh, like, so you don't have to take the amp off. It, like, forces it through the front, too. But, uh, we decided to do a shoe that today. Oh, is that all the way up or all the way down? That is... No, we want that to say 10. Cool. Alright, well excited to hit up the second one now. Ooh, boy. This one doesn't even feel like it's attached anymore. That's insane. Actually kind of scared about that. But this one compared to what it was, whoa boy. I'll give that one a second. Second little blast. Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. I hope I didn't damage it pulling the head off because this is this is the reverb knob. Kind of important on that one. And we're just going to kind of keep working our way down the line. Give it a couple blasts, turn it. Okay, now I'm not as scared. Well, I'm still a little scared. That's kind of right in between the two. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this up again. With that on the other side. Oh, I didn't know this was Super Tramp. Nice. Wow. 
These do not even feel like the same knobs at all. That's crazy. So I'm going to give these a blast at 10, 5, and 1, I think. 10, 5. Getting a little close to those uh, capacitors. Just uh, forgetting about the deadly threat because I'm a genius. Not as much change in this one. This one's holding on stiff. I guess that's how that one's going to come out. Alright, almost halfway through, boys. change in that one too. I'm going to hit this one up one more time. I hope that's okay. I, I haven't read anything about how you could actually damage these things with this stuff. So I'm just going to give it one more blast. That's oh, okay. Oh shit, I did it again. Alright, cool. Oh, boys, I'm gonna sit down for a minute. Oh! Woo! Alright, so. Not excited to have to put this back together, not gonna lie. 
but it's not going to be the worst. So I'm just going to let it sit overnight and dry and pop it all back together. I mean, I still I still got four knobs left to do, so we're going to hold off on that. I mean, the <laughs> worrying about quitting for the night. I'm going to finish the job real quick, but oh, my back hurts. Everything smells like orange. Except for this speaker. It smells a little bit like cat piss. But not too much like cat piss. Alright, let's finish her up. Another good one. Well, it looks like it's drying out pretty quick. Not anything insane, but it's all right. That doesn't feel right on that one. This one's pretty close, too, so it is what it is, I guess. Two more, boys. down here. Hi. What's up? You run off? We call her the black rocket. As soon as she sees a person, she out of here. Just this one didn't do too much difference to, and that's okay. It's just the uh, treble knob, which I'm never going to use except to turn it way down because it's a fender. One more.
I was worried about having to give these a second go, but such a massive improvement in the way they turn that uh, I'm not going to. That's just the one, the uh, that treble knob, still very stiff. But I, I sprayed that out twice, and I'm not going to give it another go. Don't want to put a little too much in there, you know? So I think we're going to set this all to 10. Let it sit for a bit. Come on, flip them over to 1. Slap the amp back together later. I think that's about uh, all we're going to do with it tonight, boys. Oh, what? Does this have a holder for the straw? Oh, that's so nice of them. Now that's engineering. All right. All right, well, I think that uh, was a little pretty successful. I'm think that's going to take care of that cat pee pretty well. Uh, if it doesn't, it's just going to smell like orange over top of it, and that's better than it was. I think the knobs are going to turn out fine. I'll give you a little demo of the, mop, the amp another time. Thank you, everybody that tuned in. It was nice having you here, and have a good one.